Hey guys, how's it going? Solo back with another daily video. Today we're going to take a look at RKT Rocket Mortgages. Before we get into that, let's take a look at the heat map here. Overall red day, kind of surprising. Usually the Fridays to close of the week are usually green days or at least flat. Today was not a great day. We had a great week up until today, but what are you going to do? Can't be green every day. Let's get right into it. Let's talk about Rocket Mortgage like we always do. We'll look at how the day traded today. We will look for some news articles and I have one already teed up on RKT. And then we will close out the video with some updated technical analysis, some price predictions and forecast. And then I will even show you the option flow data to see what the big money was doing in terms of their options flow for RKT today. Let's get right into it. So looking at Robinhood here, you can see Rocket did not have a great day, just like the majority of the other stocks in the market, down 3.4%. And you know, it just was happy living there. It just kind of traded flat all day long, had a little bit of a sell-off right up until 10 minutes before the market closed when it was down just about 4.2%. And then he said, you know what? Let's just turn some thrusters on for 10 minutes and we will close down only 3.4%. Then as I'm making this video, RKT is pretty much trading flat in after hours trading. Let's take a look at the weekly graph, see what we missed here. Very choppy, right? kind of up and down, up and down, but it looks like we pretty much closed flat on the week. We actually closed 0.9% up, it's pretty flat. So if you had options open and you were playing theta strategies, this was a great week for you because you could have played something like an iron condor or if you had a cash grid put on, every day you were just making money while you slept or while you watched TV. So this was a great week to play theta strategies or run something like the wheel strategy on RKT as long as you did not want the shares to get called away or you, you did not want to get assigned shares. Let's take a look at the news article that I saw on RKT. So here's the article I found on Yahoo Finance and this is based off some news reports off Benzinga from this morning and they are saying this. It looks like RKT was downgraded from a company named Keith Bruyette and Woods KBW, let's just call them for short. Never heard of this company, but that did not certainly help the stock once they got a downgrade from an analyst. And it looks like RKT has made its debut not too long ago, August 6th, at a price of $18. And today, like I said, we just closed at about mid $21. So overall, if you bought in at the IPO, you are still in the green. Let's take a look to see what this article goes on to say. So most of this article is talking about the price action that happened throughout the days recently on RKT. But the most important paragraph that I saw was, like I said earlier, this negative catalyst. And this actually came out last night. So Thursday night before the market opened today, it was downgraded and they set a price target of $19. So it's not surprising that RKT was already in the red pre-market and then was red all day long. And like I said, closed in the red. But that price target of $19, it's not too far away from where we're trading right now at about $21.69 at last check. So let's take a look at the technical analysis to see if we agree or if the TA is showing us something different. So here's the trading view graph on RKT. I will zoom out here. You can see some of the earlier TA that we did. And I will say I was somewhat incorrect with my earlier TA. It wasn't more so that I was incorrect, it's just that I was too late. So I had drawn these trend lines looking like we were forming a wedge pattern and that we were gonna bounce around and then break out at some point. Well, quite literally, the day after I did the TA is the day it broke out. So I'm going to delete this arrow because it's no longer relevant right now. We broke out way earlier than I thought we would. I thought we would bounce around for maybe another week or so and then break out. But RKT said, you know what? Our thrusters are on, let's go to the moon. And the next three days, we were green, had a little bit of a pullback on December 16th and had a green day the following day. You can see today, we did have a pullback, RKT, like I said, down about 3.4%. So this trend line, we'll leave it up there for now to see if it helps us. But what I'm looking at, most importantly, what I'm looking at right now is the 21 and the 50 day moving averages. They're pretty much right on top of each other and they're right at this price level of $21 that I identified as initially was resistance. We now broke above it, so now it's gonna act as support. So at 
you have three areas of support. So that tells me that $21, it's going to take a lot to break that area of support. I mean, some more analyst downgrades or some really bad news that comes out, in my opinion, or maybe just an overall market sell-off because you have the 21 moving average, which is the orange line, the 50-day moving average, which is the pink line. And like I said, my yellow line, which I drew as I identified a area of support. Not only that, but the fourth area of support at that level is the 61.8% Fibonacci level, which is kind of hidden by my yellow line. Let's do this. Let's extend my Fibonacci levels out in time so that we can do some better price data going into the future. So we'll just extend this out like this just so we can incorporate some new data that's coming through. And you can see you have two zones here, this teal colored zone, this blue colored zone, and right in between them covered up by my yellow line. If I move it here, you can see there it is, that Fibonacci level. So I think that we will have a little bit of a pullback come Monday, maybe Tuesday. And then I think we're going to bounce off the $21 mark as long as nothing crazy comes out in the news. So I think we'll look something like this. We'll sell off a little bit and then we'll bounce because 21 seems like it's a way too strong an area of support right now based on all the TA that I'm seeing. The RSI curve is not really overbought, not really oversold. It's at about 53, so a little bit to the overbought side, but I'm not gonna put too much weight into that. Now your question may be, well, where's the top side? Where's the ceiling? Where's the area of resistance? Let's see if we can add some more TA now that we have a week's worth of new price data. Right now, the earliest area of resistance that I have drawn is at about $22. So it's about actually not even a dollar from where we're trading today. I think there might be an area of support or resistance, I should say, right around here, but I don't really like it that much. It intersects too many wicks. There's a the top of this candle here, top of this wick here, top of today's wick. But back here, historically, it cuts through too many candles. I don't really like that right now. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to keep that on my charting because I don't think it's a good area of resistance. Now, you do have the 78.6% Fibonacci level, which is right at just shy of $22. That might be the area of resistance that we're looking for. But like I said, just keep in mind that these areas that I draw are not exact numbers. So I may have this trend line at $22.19. That doesn't mean it's exactly $22.19. It's more of a range. So in actuality, this area of support or what is now resistance and this FIB level could be one and the same. So I would say somewhere around $22, I think, is an area of resistance. So I think for the time being, we're going to probably sell off to 21, then maybe bounce off and go high as 22, unless something crazy happens in the news, like I said, and Rocket decides what it wants to do. Because we did have an upward trend. If you want to draw a trend line, something like this, to show the last week or so of trading, we did have an upward trend. You can see we broke down above that. So I'm not even going to leave this on the charting software because I don't think it's even relevant anymore. But that's my price prediction and forecast. I think we'll have a little bit of a pullback and then we'll jump up to maybe the mid to high 21s or maybe even get as high as 22. But right now, it looks like all things are looking pretty good right now for Rocket. It's trading above the 21 and the 50-day moving averages, which is always a bullish sign. We'll have to wait and see what the market thinks and if the market agrees with my TA come Monday morning. As always, let's finish off the video by looking at the option flow data on TradeUI. So we had six flow orders or sweeps come in on RKT today. Green boxes represent calls that were bought. Red boxes represent puts that were bought. So you can see the majority, actually all but one sweep that came in were bought calls. So that tells me the hedge funds, the institutional money, the smart money, if you want to call them that, were bullish or are bullish on RKT. You can see actually some of them, actually four, out of the six of these were all options that expired today and they were all 17 strike and $19.50 strike calls. So these are probably hedges. These were probably, you know, these were in the money calls that they bought. We do have a January 8th put that was bought for $30,000. So somebody or some group is a little bit bearish on these. And then we also have our last order was an option that expires the day before New Year's Day, and that was a 22 strike call. So that is could be a hedge, it could be a covered call that an institution is selling, or it could just be something that somebody is just bullish, because right now we're trading at about 2160, 2170. 
So they said, why don't we buy some 22 strike calls and profit off that bought option? But I'm going to leave the video here. Let me know if you traded Rocket this week. Let me know if you traded shares or options. As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Make sure you join our Discord server. We only have a few slots left. We're filling up very fast. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Reddit. Follow me on Instagram. But most importantly, have a good weekend and happy trading.